A big hello and a warm welcome to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel. In this particular channeling session, I'm going to be talking about the mirrored energy of the masculine and the feminine collective. When I say collective, I'm definitely picking on to some individuals, but they represent a lot of people because on this planet right now, a number of people are experiencing this situation and they need some relief and some answers. So here is this downloaded message. These type of experiences or observations happen during the separation phase or when someone is getting out of the separation phase. This is a key lesson that everyone has to learn if you're on ascension. If you are not on the path of ascension and if your life is supposed to be a life where you are supposed to release the karmic baggages of your past lives, or whatever karma you have incurred, be it positive or negative, you are just here to live through that, then this lesson will not be given to you. It will not come to you. This is a lesson that's been given to every single person who's on ascension. If you are a materialistic person, then it will not affect you so much because most materialistic people live in gangs and they are usually together and narcissism is quite high. So it is obviously a spiritual ascensioner who is looking to get freedom from this world of fake love and all of the narcissism so masculine and feminine they mirror each other in this department also because sooner or later one stage comes in to their life and in their journey where they realize that all the people they call their own are not really their own and they all have some or the other reason, some kind of a selfish need or some kind of a, you know, selfish demand, some materialistic need because of which they are surrounding this person. It can be anything. For example, I have heard from a lot of feminines that their masculine left them because of family. Because the family has a lot of hold on this person. They make all their decisions because of family. Or they cannot live without the family. Or they want to be in a certain setup which is very worldly. Which fits the worldly rules and operations. Which fits the choice of religion or caste or creed or what not. And status sometimes and age and this and that. So that's why the masculine did not choose me. They chose somebody that the parents or the family members or the relatives or the friends were okay with all right that is what masculine did because they are under those influences of the worldly world when the feminine or the female sometimes this happens to the females and sometimes this happens with the males as well because on my channel i have noticed a lot of men also who have expressed their views so I definitely cannot say that this is only happening to women. But the population of women is higher sometimes. But at the same time, the population of toxic feminines is also quite high on this planet. And these toxic feminines have caused a lot of havoc while playing roles of mother, sister, friend or wife. And who are they torturing? Who are they troubling? Obviously men. So... Misogyny is not something which I have seen only been practiced by men. Misogyny is something which also a lot of women are practicing right now and they pass it on. They pass on the hatred, they pass on the pain, suffering. Instead of stopping it where it should stop with them, they give it to their daughters and to their granddaughters and it keeps spreading. So of course we need to heal the masculine on this planet but for that we need to first heal the feminine. However, it's the feminine that can heal the masculine because they are mirrors of each other. So yes, there are a lot of patriarchal men which are ruling this planet. We cannot deny that. The feminines are suffering. The masculines are suffering. But people who are realizing this suffering are the people who are on ascension. And for them, the gender rules don't apply. They don't care about the gender. So we also don't care about the gender. We only care about the energy. So many a times I've been told by men and women both that their partners made the choice based on whatever their family was showing it to them and they felt that it's only happening to them as in those people. 
they don't know when they start doing inner work or when they are in separation when they are completely relying their own on their own relatives or biological connection that's when they realize or when it hits to them that they are also living in the same type of reality even they are dependent on the narcissistic family members or they have been pleasing the narcissistic family members since childhood so the masculine or the feminine whosoever they were dating or whosoever they wanted to be with they were just mirroring them and when they realize this it's a big epiphany to be honest it's a life changing epiphany and i'm actually picking on energies of men and women who are going through this phenomenon where they're realizing that all relationships in their lives are actually materialistic and unreal and temporary but they have to fulfill their responsibility and they have to understand that they are being placed with those people for the absorption of same lesson of the same lesson this is a very important lesson so that you are ready when you die when the time of death comes at that point in time people feel that oh my god all the things that i had been collecting all the things that i had been crazy for all the things that matter to me don't matter at all right now because there is no body and once the body is gone all the things that are associated with the body is also gone only those things that are associated with the soul are there you know they remain so my dear friends both of them are going through this pain and both of them are crying both of them are in tears because they feel very badly betrayed and hurt by their own people and they realize their own people only care about their own ego and materialistic things they don't care about them as such and that's why they never cared about acknowledging them or listening to them or hearing them out or their stories or their wishes and in separation these lessons becomes become more and more clear become more and more evident and that's when these people they actually head towards the other lessons in some cases they also understand that one of their parent one of their biological connection or if not just one parent maybe they are surrounded by a bunch of narcissistic people and one of the person was empathetic and that empathetic person suffered the most if you are going through this realization or if you have already realized it or if you're trying to understand it then do comment below and share your experience with the other people in the community and help them out or motivate them more so a lot of people realize that they had like this one empathetic grandparent or uncle or aunt or father or mother who was surrounded by all of these narcissistic people and they suffered they suffered because of them and they suffered a lot and because the people i'm channeling they were not in those energies where they could sense it or understand it or realize it they may have also misunderstood these people or they may have also thought that these people are not nice people and maintained a distance because they were programmed or they were taught by the other adults or other people in the family hey you know your uncle joe is crazy you know or your auntie lily is crazy she does her own things don't talk to her so much you know she's a weirdo or they don't do anything for the family they are crazy people and then you see them doing things for a lot of other people so it kind of confuses you like why are these people doing so much for others and not for their own family see because sometimes people who are doing for others or they have a mission they realize that my family members can take care of themselves like they are not handicapped or they are not like depending on me they can make their own money they can live their own life they're grown up adults why should i serve them like a servant instead of serving them i'd rather serve those who need me or i'd rather do things that make me happy because these bunch of people are never going to be happy no matter what i do and sometimes those empathetic people in your family had a problem because maybe they were not able to heal the wounds or maybe they did not have access to the information that you have an access to and maybe they suffered for you so that you don't have to suffer as much as they suffered 
So now this masculine and feminine who are representing other masculines and feminines on this planet, the ones that I'm channeling and those who would resonate with it, have realized that all these worldly relationships are not real. They are false. They are selfish. They are narcissistic. And they don't want to do any inner work. They don't want to change. They don't want to shift. They just want to continue living the way they are living. In some cases, these people also feel compassion towards them because they could be under the contract of their own karma, their own karmic patterns. So even if they want to or even if they try to, they do not have that much courage or strength to come out of their karmic entanglements, foundations or templates. Some of them are literally here to just suffer because they send a lot and they have to suffer now. And even if you try to tell them that, hey, it's so easy, you can just cross over, you can come to this side, they will not listen to you. Now, what's happening in their world, in their personal worlds, because of this big revelation, they are also becoming open and understanding towards the person they ditched or they dumped or they misunderstood. So if it's a man and he was dating this woman and she left him because of family members or because of whatever they told her she was like oh i'm gonna listen to them they are my own people this man is now compassionate towards her and he thinks that okay you know what she was also in the same situation as mine but it did not hit me at that point in time or maybe it's gonna hit her soon like this realization and on the other side if it's a woman who probably dated a man who who triggered the twin flame ascension journey it could have been a catalyst masculine or a distorted masculine or a false twin but that person triggered this ascension journey and she may have been really upset with him for leaving her for ditching her for discarding her it could even be a divine masculine who knows it could also like come to a full circle after some time but she is more open to forgiving him because she feels I've been the same or I've been surrounded with the same people. I've been pleasing my family my whole life. And if they would have told me that someone is not nice for you, I would have listened to them. The only difference is that I'm not in those energies, but maybe someone else is. In separation, a lot of people who have been suffering at the hands of their supposed twin flame, they go through their own lessons and in their own way, they learn it via karmics. And as I have been saying that karmics are not always romantic in nature. Sometimes they could be best friends. Sometimes they could be family members. Sometimes they could be other people. So there are karmic partners and there are karmic entanglements. In case of a male who left a female and then he started dating another one or got married to someone else or started committing to someone else, like changed the lifestyle for the other person, and thought that, you know, my girlfriend or my ex was like the crazy one. They realized that, oh my God, I'm with a crazier person now. Because they, after entering a karmic relationship, value their spiritual relationship or their connection or their love much more. Because they realized that I'm in deeper shit right now. I'm in a worse situation. And they remember all the good times they had with that person with the one they really fell in love with, they experienced, but they were not bold enough, they were not brave enough, or they were too much in narcissistic influence that they could not make the correct decision. And when the karmic came in with all the amazing things, you know, which they come with at first, they were like, wow, this is the right person for me. But two years down the line or three years down the line, they are disgusted and they are in shock and they're in pain and they're like i made such a big mistake i should not have married this person or i should not have dated this person i wish i had been with the other person i wish i had made some more efforts to be with the other person but you know for some people it's like they realize it it's too late and they feel that now i have to somehow suffer it's my punishment they regret they are in guilt so for some time, they also go through that emotion, you know, like I deserve this uh, treatment where I'm being treated like a wretched soul, like a worthless person. And my karmic is trying to imply that they looked 
at me in a pitiful way and they helped me out because I was in a toxic relationship because I was suffering. While I was not suffering, it was maybe my mother or my father or my best friend who kept drilling this into my head that your girlfriend is so horrible or in some cases your boyfriend is so horrible and I just believed them and then I, and I made this mistake. But in order to understand, to realize everything, they have to spend some time into it. Time is a very important factor. If you keep saying or thinking that it's been two years, three years, four years, but I've not yet received what I wanted to receive or I've not gotten anything or my partner is not back, I'm just waiting for someone, then it's a wrong thing to do. You have to not look at your wish fulfillment or your desire fulfillment. You have to look at your progress as a person, as a human being, as a personality, how much have you changed? How much peace do you have? If you haven't changed, if you have no peace, if you're still the same person complaining and whining, then of course there's no progress. But if you feel that your financial condition has changed, you're no longer that emotionally dependent on others, you are doing fine, you're happy by yourself, you're not entering false relationships, you got a grip on yourself, and all those wonderful things are happening to you, then look at that because you don't have to look at everything from a materialistic standpoint. So this is where I'm going to close this channeling session. Thank you so much for being here with me. I will see you soon in another one. For your personal situations, you can check out the description box. You can book a session and write to me at the sunamoon at gmail.com. Please book the session only when you're sure. And kindly do not share your twin flame journey in advance with me. Jai Shri Ram.